In this tutorial, I will show you how to create pixel art in Photoshop using two different methods. Stay with me till the end and I will present you two awesome Photoshop actions for making pixel art quick and easy. So let's start with the pixel art tutorial. Method one. In this method, I will pixelate image in Photoshop using the nearest neighbor interpolation method. So we select the subject and then we add a mask and apply the layer mask so that we have a transparent background. Then we go to image adjustments and select shadows and highlights to brighten the shadows in the image. Next we go to Posterize and we reduce the number of colors to simplify the image. Next we go to Image and we resize the image. It's very important to choose Nearest Neighbor from the drop-down list. This is a required option if you want to create or to resize pixel art. To convert the image to pixel art in Photoshop, first we have to scale down the image to get a result with a pixel size of let's say 15 you need to divide the largest size of the image by 15. In this case 1920 divided by 15 is 128 pixels. So set the height to 128 and click OK. To get the pixelated effect then we have to scale up the image back to its original size. So go to image and image size one more time and input the initial size which in our case is 1920 pixels. Don't forget to choose nearest neighbor for hard edges. And then we can stroke the layer. Again, we want to be consistent with the pixel size on the stroke. So we're going to put uh, 15 there. And then we can add a solid color background layer. As such. Okay, and now this was our first method for making pixel art character design. Let's go to the convert photo to pixel art Photoshop tutorial method two. We remove the background in the same way. We apply a mask and then we apply the layer mask and we have a transparent background. We increase the shadows so that more color pops out and it's the same thing with the um, we use the filter gallery this time instead so go to filter filter gallery and under artistic filters choose the poster edges this filter will allow us to create a cartoon effect play around with the settings to see what looks best Then we go to Filter Pixelate and choose Mosaic, which is the most used pixel art Photoshop filter. Then we are able to set the cell size for the pixels. And we can stroke it in the same way once again. We can set the same pixel size for the stroke so that the stroke and the outline is consistent to the pixel size. And then we can make some adjustments. We want to lighten up the image in certain areas and make it a little bit more apparent. We can also make adjustments to the saturation to bring out more color. Again, we add a solid color background to the image. And for example, we can pick red or we can pick purple or pink and so on. Click OK once you're happy with that. And that is the method two. 
If you want really quick results, you can try this Photoshop pixel art generator. You have the download link in the description below. Here's how to install the components of the action. So we can insert brushes. There's the pixel brush and we can load that up. And now we have access to pixel brushes. And that's how to install the pixel art Photoshop brush set. And with the actions to load the action, choose the action and click OK. And then we have different size pixel edits. Open your image and unlock the layer. You can remove the background like I do, but it is not mandatory. To create an 8-bit image, choose the 8 pixel action from the list. And click the play button and that runs through the list of modifications to the image. And now we can click through the different layers that have been generated and we can change some of these. So for example, we can change the number of levels on the posterization, which helps us tweak our image. You can add brightness and contrast to lighten the image. You can change the color of the background. The action comes along with a set of pixel brushes that you can use. Let's draw something using the pixel art brushes from this package. Create a new layer above all layers and select a pixel brush. For example, we have the four pixel, the eight pixel and so on. Now, if we write, you can see that we have the pixelated text that is used from our pixel brush. And you are able to use the mouse or other device to write the pixelated text, but you can also use this pixel brush to correct things on the image as such. And that is an action that we can use. Now we're going to have one more image pixel later that you can use in Photoshop, making pixel art. Here's how to install the components of the action. We are able to load a new pattern, the pixel pattern. And we can also load our action, which is the pixel art v1 file. Open your image and unlock the layer. You can remove the background like I do, but it's not mandatory. Again, we apply the mask. We have a transparent background here. And now we can run the pixel art by PSD Dude. We're going to choose 12 pixel medium. And when it runs, you can see that it has pixelated the image. We can reduce the number of indexed colors and as such. And here is the result. You can see that there is an interesting pattern overlay that has been applied to the image. When we zoom in, you can see that it has an interesting effect that applies a grid and we can turn these on and off as you can see so that the foreground and the background have their own pattern overlay which helps show the individual pixels 
Now we can change the layer style so that we have a different color in the background. And the pattern overlay still remains. Now we can change the brightness and the contrast. We can add vibrance to make the colors pop out a little bit more. And we can add a drop shadow effect. It's important to get these right, but we put the start zero and the distance has to be a factor of the 12. So we choose 24 and then put the direction. Horizontal is ideal, but you can see how it is a consistent drop shadow that is uniform in its pixelation. And now you can convert image into pixels in the right and easy way. Use these techniques and tools to create pixel art games. If you like our Photoshop tutorials, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.